Hi guys, it's Tara and welcome back to Crafting with Curly Cues. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys my first project as the Paper Smooches December guest designer. So I'm going to be using some stamps from the brand new um, December release from Paper Smooches. So let's get started. This is the Delightful Greetings stamp set. Love all the different greetings that are in there and that beautiful scripty font. I think it's so much fun. So I decided to take a couple of these greetings today and create my own pattern paper. So I started with a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock and it is um, just a scrap that I found so I haven't cut it down yet. I know that it's bigger than a card and that's really all I was after. And I'm going to use my VersaFine Black Onyx ink and I have mounted up two of the sentiments and that little heart that comes in the stamp set on three different acrylic blocks here. So I'm basically just going to do a repeat pattern using these two different sentiments and that little heart to create a little bit of separation between the words and I'm going to cover this entire piece of paper. So I'm just going completely random. I don't want it to look like it's the exact same words stacked on top of each other so I'm just kind of trying to keep it as straight as I can. I did line my paper up on my grid there but um, I'm not really lining my stamps up. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And because it's going to be such a colorful, fun background, it's okay if it's a little bit off. So as you can see, I have covered the entire paper with these really cute sayings. I went with just some of the more generic ones. This is kind of just a, a reaching out to you kind of card. Um, a nice break from all the Christmas cards, so this was super fun to create. So now that I'm done with all that stamping, I'm going to go ahead and take some clear embossing powder from Zing. And I'm going to cover this whole panel in the clear embossing powder. Now that VersaFine ink does stay wet for quite a while, but I will admit that the bottom did get a little bit more dry than I wanted it to. You can see it's not sticking 100%. It still did totally fine for what I needed for this card, but um, if you were concerned about that, you could peel up your paper and do the embossing in the middle and then continue with your stamping. So I was able to get a nice good coating of that on top of all these words and so this is going to provide some super fun shimmer to the card as well as help with the kind of resisting technique for the rest of the background that I do later. Um, you could absolutely skip this step. You don't have to put the embossing powder on there. I just was kind of wanting a little bit of shimmer shine so I decided to throw it on. So I used my coffee filter so that was super easy to dump all that back into the jar there. It's a super handy trick that's nice and affordable. I love all those little like craft cheats you can pick up on the different blogs and stuff. So that's definitely one of my favorites. So now I'm just going to hold on to this panel here with my um, tweezers and then I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to heat all this up and you can see that it turns perfectly clear and nice and shiny and then I do hit the back to kind of warp the paper in the opposite direction. Also a good little trick to do with your heat gun. And then while I have my heat gun and my embossing stuff out, I'm going to emboss another sentiment. So this is from that same set. It's the Hey Friend sentiment, and I'm going to use the same little heart and put it next to it so that it matches the background. And I'm going to heat emboss this in white. I'm going to use my Ranger Super Fine White Embossing Powder. So I thought it gave a really nice juxtaposition with the background, which is all white with black sentiments. Um, and then the sentiment will pop being black with the white sentiment. So now I'm going to do some ink smushing. And I have taken a piece of transparency, and it's actually from the back of that stamp set. So super handy way to stretch your supplies. And my three favorite distress inks. And as you can see, I squished some of the ink on the transparency, spritzed it with water, and now I'm just dabbing it on my paper. This is regular Nina cardstock. It's not watercolor paper. So it actually gives kind of a fun look in that it doesn't soak into the paper like it would if this was watercolor paper. It kind of sits on top of the paper in droplets. So by hitting it with my heat tool right away, I get a more distinct splattery look than you might on watercolor paper. Um, I would caution you to not go back too many times over the same spot because the regular cardstock is not built to withstand a whole bunch of moisture. So if you keep getting it wet, it is going to rip. But if you just kind of go over it one time and then hit it with your heat tool, it's going to be totally fine. So these colors are Peacock Feathers, Picked Raspberry, and Mustard Seed. And these are pretty much my three like go-to colors when I want to do a fun, bright, um, just happy, colorful card. I just really like the way that they look together and they seem to just always turn out perfect so you know if it ain't broke don't fix it. I did dab some of the pink dots um, over the top of the pe the peacock feathers there just to kind of give it a little a little bit more interest and variation. So now I'm just going to come in one last time. You can see how awesome the glass craft mat. I know I brag about my glass craft mat all the time. I really love it. It's one of my favorite tools but it's so handy to be able to just wipe it all up and 
you can get glue on it or paint or whatever and it just everything comes off. One of these days I'm going to show you a cool trick for what I do with cleaning up like glue and paint from my craft mat, but um, that's in a different video, so <laughs> stay tuned. So anyway, now I've got my mustard seed on. I'm going to hit it once again with my heat tool and just make sure everything's nice and dry. You can see that I am wiggling my heat tool back and forth a lot. I'm doing that because I don't want to burn the embossing powder that's already on there. I don't want to remelt it. So I'm just keeping the heat moving so that it doesn't stay in one location for too long. So I'm going to put that transparency right back on the back of my stamp set and boom, nice and taken care of. So this is another um, product from the December release from Paper Smooches. It's called the Adorable Aire die and it is absolutely adorable. It's this really cute little bouquet of um, flowers and ferns here I guess and it is super intricate, so detailed. It cut like a dream. I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't use a shim or anything. I just ran it through my normal sandwich on my Big Shot and it cut out of this Nina Solar White like no problem at all. So I'm using my Tim Holtz craft pick to just pop out the little pieces and it does have a center to the flower, and I went ahead and die cut this um, a few different times. I think I did three times in total. And I'm going to build these up on top of each other to add some dimension to this die cut. So for this little center flower piece, there's one little part of it that is quite a bit bigger than the rest of the little pokey guys. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm kind of showing you here. So that's how I line that up, like how I knew what direction to put those together, was I used that one big one to kind of be my guide. So I'm just going to stack those on top of each other, line them up perfectly, and then I'm going to do the same for the rest of the die cut. So this is really easy to do. It makes your die cuts look like more like chipboard pieces, like embellishments. Um, I mean, the die cuts are beautiful by themselves, but I just think this really adds an extra element of wow on your card when you've got these, um, especially these super detailed ones like this that are all puffed up. It just kind of makes it adds that element of how did you do that, right? Which I think is super fun when you're a card maker. You like when people go, wow, how did you do that? So this is a way to accomplish that. So I went ahead and stacked those all up. And now that that is done, I'm going to start um, getting my card all situated. So I do have a piece of black card stock there that I'm using as my card base. And I have cut my panel down to slightly smaller than an A2 size card. I believe this is four by five and a quarter. So you're gonna get an eighth of an inch border of the black all the way around this colorful panel. And I'm just using my ATG gun to put a bunch of adhesive on the back of that. And I am going around the edges and making sure none of the adhesive shows. Um, sometimes with that ATG gun, I think the adhesive kind of sticks out the sides, but if you just kind of push it back, it's no problem at all. So I'm just going to adhere that right on the front there, and then I'm going to take the little sentiment strip that I went ahead and heat embossed, and I use my trimmer to trim that down and add a diagonal line to the end. I'm going to figure out where I want that on the card, and then I'm just going to use my ATG gun to apply some adhesive directly on the back of that little sentiment banner and stick that straight on the front of the card. The dimension on this card is going to be the die cut. Everything else is going to be nice and, nice and flat, and I do kind of tweak the corner up for just a little bit of added interest there. And then with my Zig glue pen, I'm just going to apply some glue to the back of my die cut and pop that right on the front of the card. This doesn't um, stand out a lot, but I think it adds just enough extra whimsy to the card to just make it, give it that extra element. You could, you could leave it with just the pretty background and then the black sentiment, but I just think this adds, just takes it up to that next level. So I used an acrylic block to hold that down and then I went ahead and added some pretty pink posh sequins because I cannot resist my pretty pink posh and these are the iridescent sequins and I love them. So that is the card for today. Um, that is project number one. I will be sharing a paper smooches project every Wednesday this month so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Please go ahead and hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I have listed all the supplies over at my blog and I'm going to link to some more paper smooches videos in the description down below. Thank you. Bye.